Good evening, everybody. Again, reporting live from Zollner Stadium on homecoming night. It is SAC football. I'm Sean McBride, joined by Joe Warden. Tonight, it is the Bishop Dwinger Saints hosting the Carroll Chargers. It's a great matchup, pivotal matchup for the Bishop Dwinger Saints. They have to get a win here tonight to get this thing back on track. Three of the first four games this season, they've scored zero points in the first quarter. They can't afford to do that here tonight. They're going to have to jump on them early. Here's a snap. Give it the tailback. That's Clark. He's in. Touchdown. Touchdown, Saints. Great drive by Bishop Wanger. Run between the tackles. Twins right, twins left, and a single set back. Morris rolls to his right, looks to throw, sets up, goes deep over the middle. He's got double coverage, and it looks decision. to be picked off. That was a bad decision, and Eddie Morris got pummeled as he threw the ball. Eddie Morris is still being tended to on the bench here for the Saints. The backup quarterback is warming up. That's Patrick O'Keefe, the sophomore. The power eye left. Give the return. Monier! Monier on the Monier! right side. He gets in. <laughs> he's in. Touchdown. The big uglies convert for the Saints. Jared Monier, he's a junior. 5'9", 275, and that is his second rushing touchdown. Miguel, play action, rolling right, throwing right, has his man from the edge, gets to the end zone, gets in, and touchdown. The score at halftime, 14-7. The Bishop Dwinger Saints over the Carroll Chargers. But right now, it looks like we are getting prepared to go down to the sidelines for our sponsor spotlight. And I'm joined with a bunch of guys from Tom Steele Tire. As you went through Dwinger, you know, it's everybody kind of sticks together. You know, you're, you're always finding them, whether they're over at the other shop or, hey, we're on this side of town, we want to come see you, Dwinger. You know, it's nice to see everybody kind of stick together. And it is a beautiful night here for homecoming. A uh, lot going on down on the sidelines. We just had the fancy cars drive by with the homecoming court. They're announcing them right now. But I'm very pleased to be joined with Mike Lay with the Knights of Columbus. We are 100% Catholic, and we only deal with Catholic men, their wives and children. That's it. It has been a, a roller coaster, but it's been a, a, an incredible blessing and a privilege uh, to work with these members and their families. I'm, I'm blessed beyond all imagination. The Saints on top and preparing to get the ball here to start the third quarter. I'm okay with Patrick O'Keefe throwing it, guys. I've watched him throw. He's a confident young man. Yeah. Okay, he's very, very capable. Here's a snap, and again, a read option. Quarterback into the end zone. Touchdown. Miguel just made a nice read, Joe. It was just that read yeah. option, and he picked a nice hole. He picked the only hole that was open, and he got there. Here's a snap. Looks to throw. Tipped, and is a pick. Well, they've got it. an interception by the Bishop Warner Saints. McGeary on the interception. Chip Clark in motion left to right, going out, throwing across the middle. He's got his man. Okay. And he gets the five, the two. He gets it in the end. Touchdown. How about that pass by O'Keefe, boys? Wow. That's oh, Will money. Nelson, number 89, getting his first start here tonight for Alec Watercutter. And O'Keefe hits him right in stride. From the shotgun, they roll, fake the pitch, throws. He gets hit as he throws. Becker has it. He's got yards after the catch. And he gets inside. He goes wow. to the end zone. Touchdown. He's got a fifth or sixth gear. My goodness sakes, I'm watching this thing. All of a sudden, just poof, he's in the end zone. Low snap. Uh-oh, he's looking to throw on third. He's going to the end zone, going deep. He's got black. Touchdown. Are you kidding oh, me? They, they wave it off. They wave it off. That looked like it was a good catch. It was a beautiful it catch. It looked like his foot came down inbounds first, and his second foot came down out of bounds. But I thought he had the inbounds foot down first. And Carroll dodges the Saints ball at that time. Patrick O'Keefe, reserve quarterback, has the offense on his shoulders, down by four. Here's your ball game, last play of the game. This is it. Here's a snap. He looks to throw. He's got pressure through the middle. It's a bubble screen. He's at the Ellinger. three. He stood up. Ellinger. He can't get in. He's going to get stopped. The game is over, and the Carroll Chargers stop the Saints one yard short, and the Chargers storm the field. Sophomore to sophomore, O'Keefe to Ellinger, and Ellinger gave it everything he had. Tranquil stood him up. That was a form tackle. What a ball game, gentlemen. 28-24 to 24 is your final score as both teams meet in the middle. Dwinger's a tremendous football team. They really are. I mean, they battled all the way down to the last play and the last yard. You know, that's a tremendous high school football game. You know, obviously we're biased in, in, in winning, but, you know, our hat goes off to Dwinger, their staff, and their kids for their valiant effort. Congratulations. Thank you very Great much. win. Thank you very much. My broadcast partner is Joe Wharton, and I'm Sean McBride wishing you all a very good night. May God bless you, and we'll see you on the sidelines. You're listening to Redeemer Radio, 106.3 FM.